Stan Jabalisco here. I have a rather peculiar question to ask you. What is the lowest voltage from which you've received a really nasty shock? Not the highest, but the lowest, if you can remember. You may realize that uh, if you have excellent contact uh, with two objects at different voltages, and they, even when they're relatively low, enough current can be driven through your chest cavity to cause you to your heart to go into fibrillation. It can actually kill you. Uh, if, for example, if you happen to be standing, say you're standing on a wet floor, or, or better yet, that, nobody's that stupid. Suppose that your hands are sweaty and the sweat has salt in them, and you grab a cold water pipe with one hand and a hot water pipe with the other, and they're both copper pipes, but they happen to have a potential difference between them. I've actually had this happen. Two pipes adjacent to each other with about 50 volts between them. For what reason, I have no clue. But I got a really nasty jolt when I grabbed the hot water pipe with one hand and the cold water pipe with the other. Uh, you know Ohm's law, current equals voltage divided by resistance. If the resistance is low enough, the voltage doesn't have to be very high to produce 50 or 60 milliamperes. And if that happens to go through your chest cavity, it's going to feel like somebody kicked you right in the chest. And if 100 milliamps happens to go through your chest cavity, it could conceivably cause your heart to go into fibrillation. So this is no uh, idle question that I'm asking you. If you can recall, when you got a shock and you weren't expecting it, and that's what makes it so dangerous. That's why I say danger low voltage, because you can be fooled into thinking that you're not in any danger when you really are. And that fact itself increases the danger. So if you happen to get a clobbered off of two objects you didn't think could even have a voltage between them, and you ended up measuring the voltage with a multimeter, it, it might be AC, it might be DC. What was that voltage? How low is the lowest voltage? I'd like to see who can set the record here. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, be careful around low voltage. So long.